Hey guys, so today is going to be a different video about upcoming indie games that are coming to the Switch from the Indie Direct a couple days ago, and we'll be talking about the games that caught my eye in particular. So let's get right into it. The game that seems most interesting in my eyes was, nope, not that one. Close, but try again. Yes, that one. Eastward is a fascinating looking game. Now I can't tell if the gameplay is good or not. They didn't show too much of how the gameplay was, they just showed the graphics and stuff. However, the sprite animations are fantastic. You can see so much expressions in their pixelated faces and the art style is stunning. It looks to be like it's influenced by the Mother series and its art style, especially Mother 3. According to IGN, the game looks to have RPG elements as well as some dungeon crawling elements. Either way, the game looks like it's worth getting. Ori in the Blind Forest. Yep, I've been waiting for this one to come out on Switch. Since Xbox and Nintendo are buddy buddies now, it's not surprising that this title made it to the Switch. I haven't played this game, but only because I've been waiting for it to come out on Switch. Okay, so this one wasn't from the presentation at all, but it should have. It's a hat in time. This is a 3D platformer by Gears for Breakfast, which by the way is an awesome studio name. This 3D platformer is inspired by games like Super Mario 64 and Banjo-Kazooie. It's one of the largest Kickstarter funded indie games ever made. The game has seen many updates since release, and now it's finally coming to Nintendo Switch on October 18th. But that's my top three upcoming indie games for Nintendo Switch. But let me know in the comments below what your top three upcoming indie games for Nintendo Switch are. Be sure to give this video a like and be sure to subscribe to this channel for upcoming content. But that'll be all today. See you guys later.